As an indigo farmer and dyer, I imagine the discovery of indigo by humans thousands of years ago is the discovery of pure amazement. Plucked from the plant and squished, the indican, so long concealed in the leaves, makes contact with the air and oxidizes, turning blue. The squished leaves wash off, but that blue remains, a reminder of how we, fundamentally, as humans, have engaged with, learned from, and evolved because of the world around us. So that discovery of blue and the leaves of a plant and the amazement that it, it brings me and um, has really held me captivated for 21 years now. Over time, my own artistic output has shifted from resist dyed textiles to a social practice that embraces direct engagement with the process and with community, to installations that bring in aspects of the process that lead from seed to dye. And throughout all these very different types of work, my goal has really been the same, to get the indigo that I use out into the world and into the lives of others, while also using it to empower others by sharing the meaning that it's brought to my life. Because for me, there's a wonder and awe to be found in engaging with something that's bigger than I am, something that was here long before our time and that will be around long after, long after we're gone.